Graham Hick taking guard. Gotcha. In the air, but that's quite safe. Most of the field up in the circle. Graham Hick deciding that he'd rather get this game over sooner than later. The England supporters in the crowd say it all. It's a trademark shot of Graham Hick. He enjoys that shot over mid-off. Nice straight bat and clean. And yeah, there's plenty of gaps out there. Graham Hick will be very grateful for any gifts like that. It's normally hard enough batting against West Indies so that anyone who bowls short outside leg stump and leaves the area completely unprotected will pay exactly that penalty four runs down to the square leg boundary for four and probably close to being called a no ball there it's a beautiful straight drive quite little it so it'll be cut off Graham Gooch won the toss and decided that uh, he would put the West Indies in here. So um, England having to bat second. Let's pull that one away beautifully. It's bounced and he's kept it in. That's very clever work. There we are. He ran around the boundary, knocked it down, ran outside the rope, then came back in, picked it up and whipped it over the bales. That's a brilliant piece of work. It shows he's a thinking cricketer as well. So England really cruising through. They've had uh, this match in control almost from the very beginning. Got a wicket with the second ball of the second over. And that's a great shot over extra cover for six. And very unusual to see a hit over extra cover, which carries all the way. That brings up the 54 Graham Hick. That might be the shortest boundary on the ground, but it's still a beautifully struck shot. And not a bad way to bring up your 50. Graham Hick played very well here tonight. He's taken over all the responsibilities since Graham Gooch left and brings England closer to victory. <laughs> Return actually just brushed the stumps, hit hustling home. Gotcha, gotcha. Didn't quite hold it. And he's claiming the catch. Graham Hick is not certain about it at all. Harper is certainly clear about it in his mind. Now, the question here for the umpires is, did he hold it long enough? It goes off. I don't think he really waited for the umpires. He just checked with Roger Harper. There was no decision from the umpires because none was necessary. Graham Hick decides, yes, once the bowler tells me he's taken it. The catch was taken cleanly. Now, Harper throws it up, and perhaps there we see that he has held it long enough. No doubt at all, actually, that Roger Harper had got to that ball. He is a very, very agile fielder, a great catcher, a great mover. And uh, he just simply got the ball through it up to celebrate his late victory or late, uh, late wicket. Graham Hicks played very well there at that 54. He'll be uh, just disappointed not to see it through. England so close to victory here in the 39th over. And it's just delaying the final moment somewhat. England, 4 for 156.